So how do we find the mass percent of sodium and sulfur in sodium sulfide? Well, good thing you clicked on the video, my friend, because that's what I'm going to teach you in about maybe two and a half minutes. Ready? Bam. So the first thing is we're going to write the elements down that we see. So we got sodium, Na, and we got sulfur. Next is then to identify the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. If there's no subscript at the bottom of the element, just put in a one. That means we got two sodium, one sulfur. Then we're going to take those number of atoms and multiply by the mass of each particular element. We need the periodic table for that. So sodium is 22.99, sulfur is 32.07, so that's what, what we're going to write down. So 22.99 for sodium, 30, 32.07 for sulfur. And then to find the total mass of the element in the compound, just simply multiply this row on a cross. So for sodium, that's 45.98 units of mass. And then for sulfur, 32.07 units. Okay. And then to find the total mass of the entire compound, we simply just need to add this column on up. See how nice and easy that is? So that's going to be 78.05. And that was the first step of the process to find the total mass of the entire compound. Now that we have that in hand, I'm going to add a column. We find those percents easy peasy. Bam. So to find the mass percent of, let's say, sodium, we're simply going to take the total amount of sodium here. So 45.98 units of mass and then divide it by the total mass of the entire compound, 78.05. The table gives us nice structure, and all you need now is this particular column of the table to help find these mass percents. So this is simply going to be uh, for sodium 58.9, uh, yeah, 58.91, okay. And then for uh, sulfur, we're going to do the same thing. Total mass of the sulfur here, 32.07, divided by the total mass of the entire compound, 78.05, multiply that by 100. Don't worry about the units because they're all going to cancel anyway. And uh, it works out to be 41.09%, all right? And then you can always simply add these two together to make sure you are at least in the ballpark. And it should be 100. And by the way, that's what I want for you in your next test, all right? Nothing great is achieved, remember, without hard work, dedication, and practice. But that's what we have a channel dedicated to, all right? We have specifically solved questions in both mathematics. Well, not both, because there's going to be three. There's three things. Chemistry, mathematics, and physics. Uh, and there's more coming. So we'd love to help you out with more stuff. All right. We got solved problems specifically out there uh, for you guys. And I think that's the best way to kind of practice, right? Because I don't know. What are you going to see on the test? Questions? Yes. So you got to do a ton, a ton of questions. All right. My rant's over. I'll see you later.